Hey guys, uh, just got a quickie for you right now. Um, I bought a Game Boy Micro, well rather a pile of parts that when assembled makes most of a Game Boy Micro uh, for what I think is pretty cheap. Um, interestingly enough, it's not the... I, I paid less for a Game Boy Micro and I've gotten them in better condition. But anyway, I have this. Um, I've been told that it just has a bad fuse and that that and that the fuse needs to be replaced, but I'm a little bit skeptical because fuses are safety devices. They don't just go bad. Um, usually they fail to prevent another part from burning out. And one of the first things I noticed when I took a look at this one is that one of the fuses back here, I don't know how well you can see that. Let's see if we can try and focus. Uh, but one of those fuses is bridged over which is not a good thing at all. Um, I'm going to set this aside for a moment and clean up. I was working on something else a little bit earlier. Got some JB Weld all over. But, nice thing about just using it on uh, tape here, you just peel it up, cleanup's done. All right. Get my little silicone mat here. All right, and I have a perfectly working Game Boy Micro here, just so I can pull parts from this and throw them on here till I get it working. Um, specifically, right now, I'm not going to be using anything other than the battery, so I don't really have to take it apart that much. But um, I was told the other battery works fine as well, but uh, yeah, I, I just want to rule it out. I know this battery works. I know it's fully charged. So I will get the battery out of this one. And that's what we'll use. This, whoop, throwing everything. This micro in particular is the Japanese variant, but there's literally no difference. They're all region free. Uh, okay, there is a little bit of a difference. On the Japanese micros, the serial number is etched into the shell, whereas on the US micros, there's a sticker. I don't know. Regardless, I have this speaker, I have this screen that looks intact, but we'll try it out in a little bit. And this motherboard that looks mostly intact, but I've already checked, and that fuse is bad as well. So, let's try and get these out of here. Now, the fuses could have been bad from, uh, you know what, there's an easier way to do this. Just cover it in a blob of solder like that other one is. Fuses could have been bad. Someone was taking this apart and they were, um, I don't know, poking it while the battery was still plugged in. That could cause issues. That could pop a fuse real quick. There we go. And that's bad, so I don't really care about saving that. Let me clean that up. Hang on. Okay, sorry. Just grabbed a cotton swab and some isopropyl alcohol. I can see what the heck just happened here. There's all this flux residue from trying to get that thing out of there. Ah, uh, yes. Beautiful. Okay. So, I have no idea what fuses these are supposed to be. Rather, what fuses the micro is supposed to be using. Why don't you focus? There we go. But for some god awful reason, I went ahead and purchased these a while back. These are, if you'll focus, uh, 0603 500 milliamp 32 volt fuses. Uh, if I recall correctly, the Game Boy Advance and the Game Boy Advance SP have like one amp fuses or something like that, but they're 
in my opinion, they're a little bit over spec because I can't see any reason why you'd ever need a one amp fuse. And yes, those are the right size. Because if these didn't work, my only other fuses are um, 0803, which are a little bit too large. And where are my tweezers? How did I lose my tweezers? Okay, I'll come back to that in a second. Put these fuses away before I lose them. So I've seen some people do this sort of work with a microscope, and that's probably a lot easier. But I'm going to try and do it by hand with tweezers here. And I just dropped it. Oh, there it is. Fudge, this is small. smaller tip on my iron would be helpful. You know what? I have two irons. One of them has a smaller tip on it. Let me just use that. So a while back I bought this, uh, this other iron here. My main iron is this uh, Xtronic 3020. I love the thing. You can see it's covered in solder from all the time I keep dipping it. But, you know, it's great. It uses hacko tips. I love it. My other one, bought a while back, this thing kind of hidden in the corner here, is an Edson 951SX. I haven't even taken the stickers off of it. It was five bucks, and it came with this little DOA sticky note. Literally all it needed was a fuse. Um, but, I love it. My only complaint is that the tips are hard to find and expensive as fuck. I'm looking at like 20 bucks for a new tip and I'm not very excited about that. So hopefully the tip I have lasts and I never have to replace it. Okay. I suppose it really doesn't matter that much, but I do want to solder it down right side up. Mostly as a, uh, mostly just so I know that it's done right. Oh, here's a problem. It's sticking to my tweezers. This isn't working. Let's add some more solder. Some flux actually might be helpful. Then I'll try without. Apologies for the background music here. Um, my neighbor likes to play his music super loud on weekends. Okay, cool. Get that soldered down. I don't really bug him because other than the music on the weekends, he doesn't really bug me. And I'm sure I'm loud other times. Okay. Oh, there wasn't even a fuse there, just a solder blob. That's cool. Uh, 
That is probably why this thing doesn't work then. Because not only is the fuse missing, it looks like it's pretty scratched up here. Might have to bypass that. Maybe not. I forget which fuse is which. There's two fuses on the Game Boy Micro and the Game Boy Advance SP. One of them is just to disconnect the charging jack from the board, and the other disconnects the battery from the board. Um, obviously, if the battery is disconnected from the board, nothing is going to work. Can't charge. Can't boot it. But if the charging jack is disconnected, Oh, this is going to be a bitch. Then, you know, it'll still boot as long as you can charge your battery in a different console. Or charger, at least. Okay. That looks good. Pump the camera. Clean that off. Put that down. Try it out with the screen. Ribbons are always a pain in the arse. Alright, I think that's down good enough. And there's my battery. I'm a normal game, but I'll try out my play yan here. Moment of truth. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how well you can see that because of the brightness, but it's 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 working. Oh, yes. Let's see if I can get the buttons. To... Yes. Brightness is really low. What do you use? L and then the volume? Yes. Oh. 
How you like them apples? Alright. Well, I'm super happy it was just the fuse, and that really wasn't that bad to replace. Um, I can't put this together, I'm still missing quite a few parts, namely uh, D-pad, D-pad membrane, speaker, uh, battery cover, and all of the screws, but rest assured, I have plans for this. I have great plans for this micro. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.